Hey you, I've been feeling a little too down as of late to talk about anything of actual consequence, so I thought I would just spread some happiness today and share with you my all-time favorite movies. Movies are awesome and I would maybe like to make one one day, but I wouldn't know I wanted to do that with my life if it weren't for some of these bundles of cinematic goodness. So, without further ado, here are my top 10 all-time favorite movies. Starting off strong at number 10 is Groundhog Day, starring the gift to cinema that is Bill Murray, who plays a weatherman that gets stuck living the same day over and over and over again. I think what's so amazing about this movie isn't just that it's really funny, but also how incredibly relatable the main character and his actions are. At number 9 we have Kung Pao, a bizarre and incredibly well-made parody of kung fu movies starring and created by Steve Odekirk, who also made Bruce Almighty. Every single line of dialogue in this movie is ridiculously quotable, and I'm not ashamed to admit that my first ever sketch on YouTube totally just rips off this movie. I will... avenge him! Number 8 is The Lego Movie. I don't think I could have asked for a more perfect depiction of the childlike madness that was going through my head as a kid when I played with Lego. There are so many creative and comedic decisions in this movie that just blow my mind in the best possible way. From the soundtrack, to the impeccable casting, to the twist at the end, I just... Ah, yes please, more of that. Sliding in at number 7 is The Matrix. This movie redefined on-screen action in my opinion, and inspired an entire generation of stickman animators to try and create something half as cool. It also inspired me in other ways, such as fashion. Hmm. Sixth is The Whole Nine Yards, starring my all-time favorite comedy actor, Matthew Perry. I love him so much! Cinematically, this movie is kind of a diamond in the rough, but I think the scripting and performances are near enough flawless. I love him so much! Also, Bruce Willis is there. My fifth favorite movie would have to be 21 Jump Street. It's so hilariously self-aware and the second movie on this list to be directed by Chris Miller and Phil Lord. Channing Tatum is so multi-talented and funny and his pairing with Jonah Hill is just perfect. If I could do a sex with any movie on this list, it would probably be this one. Fourth is the film adaptation of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, directed by Edgar Wright, the creator of the Cornetto trilogy. I was already a huge fan of the Scott Pilgrim graphic novels created by Brian Lee O'Malley, and I had pretty much no problems with this movie, which I think is incredible. If I had to pick one movie to show to my parents to be like, this is what's going on inside my head, it would probably be this movie. Jumping back to the 90s, we have my third favorite film, Gross Point Blank, starring John Cusack as a hitman in love, which is unsurprisingly a theme I like quite a lot. This movie is so incredibly funny and charming whilst also being very dark and violent. It also has a killer soundtrack, which is a pun. Coming in at number two, we have the ultimate Joss Whedon-led superhero extravaganza, The Avengers. Most movies release trailers to build up hype, but this movie released other movies. Just the amount of thought that went into making this movie work is incredible, let alone the flawless action sequences, the casting, the performances. It's just so cool. Ah! 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 So here we are at number one, my all-time favorite movie. Did you think I was joking? Tom, have you seen my copy of the greatest movie of all time? 17 again? Yeah. Pretty sure it fell in the hole. What hole? Oh my god! Yep, 17 again. I can hear your respect for me crumbling, but shut your face mouth. Zac Efron plays a young Matthew Perry who's woken up in the body of a 17 year old self and I just love it all so much. This movie is just the right amount of silly and funny and heartfelt and everyone's performances are on point. Also, did I mention Matthew Perry's in it? I love it so much! Well, those are my top 10 favorite movies. What are yours? Do you disagree with any of my choices? If you do, I don't actually care. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Tom Scott out.